Your time now is 812. Last night, yet another Bay Area high school athlete collapsed on the basketball court. And with 7.5 million students playing sports, there is a call to increase safety. Now, joining me now is Mike Chazar. He's an athletic trainer. Mike is working with lawmakers right now on a bill to protect the student athlete. Mike is joining us. He's from Diablo Valley College in Pleasant Hill. Mike, thank you for being here now. Good morning, Dave. This is a, a heartbreaking story. We heard about the death of Joshua Ellison over the weekend, and then last night an El Cerrito High School basketball player collapsed on the court. How do you react to both of those and beyond all this? Well, these, these situations are very unfortunate. Obviously, we're very pleased that um, there were a couple of firefighters in attendance last night that were able to um, rescue the basketball player last night. And it takes you know, trained personnel available on site to be able to help some of these young athletes. So you're working with lawmakers now trying to draft a bill to make students safer. What exactly would, would happen or should happen in your opinion? Right, well, there's, we have two bills. One is AB 1646, and that would just add to the already existing first aid requirements for coaches to ensure that they have training in potentially catastrophic injuries like concussions, like heat illness. Um, so, and then AB 1647 would mandate certain protections be in place, such as heat acclimatization programs, having AEDs available on site, um, as well as ensuring that somebody who's holding themselves out to be an athletic trainer is educated and qualified. Yeah, we're looking at video of, of high school players. I mean, the kids want to play, the moms and dads, the families want to see them play, and many just want to just get out there and play without being properly checked out. You're a trainer. What do you say to them? As an athletic trainer, our job is to ensure that the athletes are able to participate in a safe uh, manner. And I, I'm an athlete myself. I have children. And so I understand those um, competing desires for safety and the willingness and desire to play. But we need to make sure that the number one priority is to ensure the safety of our children. Now what types of things uh, are, are, we, are big, big problems in California right now, physical problems that you've been able to detect as you investigate all of this? Is it mainly heart or, or what, what are we finding out? I, I think the three big issues are sudden cardiac death. Uh, which we can help prevent with better screenings and we can prevent deaths from occurring if we have AEDs in place which is what one of the bills would do. Um, concussion deaths, our youth are very susceptible um, to what we call second impact syndrome so once a young person has sustained one concussion that's if they sustain a second one before the first one is re resolved that can lead to death. The other area and this became um, well known uh, last year with the situation in Kentucky um, is heat illness and so this set, the bill would also add a heat acclimatization program to ensure that athletes are preparing themselves to participate in the hot summer sun wearing you know 20 pounds of football gear. Yeah well we don't like doing these stories hopefully what you're working on now will help prevent any tragedies uh, in the future. Mike Jazar, athletic trainer, thank you for joining us from Diablo Valley College. Thank you very much Mike. Yeah, thank you Dave. Our time is now 8.15. Right now on Capitol Hill, another hearing is happening on the National 